Howdy y'all. Welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today I was going to do an unboxing and review of this new 4K camera that I just got. So I had somebody reach out to me and ask if I wanted to test this out. So I did not buy this camera. Just wanted to give you that up front so you understood that I didn't purchase this, that it was given to me to do a test. That being said, these are going to be honest opinions on this camera, whether I like it, dislike it, some of the features I like and dislike. So I actually have not opened this box up yet. I just got it in the mail today. But when they came to me asking if I wanted to review this 4K camcorder, I decided that you know it was a good idea to take a look at it because honestly, I've been trying to find a new camera to use for hunting this year. And everything I see is just outrageously expensive, you know, $1,000 or more. And this is a 4K camera. It is about 150-ish or so, um, depending if you get a coupon or not on it. And I found this on Amazon, and I'll put a link in the description below as well. So that being said, I'm going to read through some of the specs here on the box so you can understand what this camera is. This is a Melcam 4K video camera. It says it has up to 48 megapixel resolution on photos. It has 4K video resolution at 30 FPS on video. And if you want to do 1080p, you can film in as high as 120 FPS or as low as 30. The file formats JPEG MP4. It's got a timer. Um, it has 16x digital zoom. Supports USB 2.0. It's got a touch screen, rechargeable lithium battery. The focal distance is 2.28 millimeters with a f2.6 aperture. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and start taking everything out. It has a microphone user manual, then a 4K video camera user manual. Um, not really sure what this is, probably some sort of mount of some sort for the camera. It has what I assume is a charging cable. It came with two batteries, that's kind of nice. So you won't have to buy an extra battery there. Uh, this is the brick for the charging cable. This looks like it's part of the charging device as well. Um, it looks like a HDMI cord to be able to connect the camera to the computer, an aux cable to hook up the microphone that it comes with. I'm kind of curious to use this. I've never really used a stereo mic on a camera like this. I've always kind of had this mic, so I'm curious how well this will actually work. It has a remote, which is pretty cool. And then it looks like it has some um, fittings that go on your uh, camera as well. Not exactly sure the use of all these, but I will find out. And then the camera itself. It comes in a case, which is pretty nice actually. So here's the camera. You can get an idea of the size here. It's pretty compact. One thing that I like is it's not super light. The Handycam I currently have is very light and it feels kind of cheap. This does not feel that way. It's got a screen here. Quite a few buttons on it. It's got a lens protector that still hangs off, which is kind of nice so you don't lose that. Before I get into any of these details, I'm going to have to charge the batteries up. I'm guessing there's no power in them. I'll put one in and while I'm doing that, I'll try and read through the manual and I'll come back and I'll go through some of the settings and things that I learned in the manual. And then I'll probably end up filming a few videos with this camera. I'll do some testing with it and I can show you all some footage. That way you're not just getting an unboxing that I can actually review this uh, camera itself as well. So I will go ahead and start charging the battery and I'll be right back. I was able to charge both batteries. I started reading through the booklet a little bit there's a lot of information in here. I'm really not gonna be able to give a thorough review today. So I'm gonna do some testing with this. I'm gonna shoot some of my YouTube videos with it. And uh, I actually plan on going hunting next weekend for some hogs. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it with me. 
and see what it can do. But just to get a really good review, I've really got to try and use most of these features and see how well they work. But I want to talk about a couple of the features that I've read about here. It actually has night vision, which is pretty cool. There's an IR right here on the edge. So when you open it, it'll face with the camera. Um, so it has some night vision. So I'm definitely gonna test that out. Uh, it has a built-in microphone up here in the front, but it does come with this stereo mic and it's pretty easy to put on. You have to charge this as well, by the way. But there's a piece up here you just slide down and then your mic can slide on like that. And then you can screw that down to tighten it in place. And you can mess with the settings on your mic on off here at the top. Um, and then the aux cable goes from here. If you open it up, it'll go into the slot in here. So that's pretty cool. It actually takes a full SD card. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. That's located at the bottom here. And so we'll put, this is a 32 gigabyte SD card in. So that just clicks in. I'll go ahead and put one of the batteries in too. The batteries have a weird kind of locking mechanism. It's kind of hard to get used to, so definitely gonna have to, there we go, work on that. So it actually has this uh, strap here, which is pretty nice and you can tighten it up or loosen it or do whatever you need to do. So you can hook it up to a tripod or a tree arm or something like that. It does have a jack for that there. It can shoot in 4K, night vision. Your night vision will be black and white, it says. You can upload directly to the computer with the cable attached. You can also do use this as a webcam by attaching it to the computer. It looks like it has Wi-Fi and you can connect to Wi-Fi through one of their apps. Uh, again, and kind of like the trail cameras, I don't really see a benefit in that necessarily, unless you're setting the camera a distance away, but then you also have the remote you can use to mess with that too. So one thing I'm not sure of is I have this remote, but I'm kind of curious if it works with the remote that I have on my uh, on my mount for the tree stand. So I'm kind of curious if that works or if this kind of covers me what I need. So I'm going to test out this remote a little bit too. Not necessarily wanting something that I'm going to have to pull out of my pocket and stuff in the stand to zoom in and start and whatever, but we'll see how it works. Maybe I can attach it to the handle uh, and, and make it work that way but I like that it's wireless. The buttons seem to be in a pretty good spot. Your zoom button is up here at the top, so when you put your hand in here, that's on your middle finger. Uh, you can take the photo button, or you can hit the mode button to change the mode you're in, whether you're in photo, video, slow motion, etc. The record button's here, back by where your thumb sits, so that's in a convenient spot. The Wi-Fi power button, there's an OK button and up button here on the inside screen. The screen does go all the way around, which is kind of nice. It stops here, but if you want it down, it's there. And it can stop in between the points too. So if you're up in a tree, you can face it towards you. The touch screen seems to be a little jumpy. Uh, I still have this plastic on. I wonder if that's causing it, but you know, it just seems, well, yeah, it seems to work a little bit better now, but not a ton of settings. You can go in there and change, you know, the video quality, sharpness. You can add a time watermark on there, make sure it's recording audio, white balance, EIS, the resolution you can change pretty easily. So some, some good settings there. You can shut off the sound, which I really like. It was kind of annoying. I'd open it up and it'd make a loud noise and everything I clicked was a beep. So you can shut that off so you have no sound if you're hunting with this camera. They have a bunch of different languages. You can change the time and date formatting. So pretty cool camera from what I can tell. Again, hard for me to really do a great review on it without actually going out and taking some video, testing out the zoom, um, seeing how the quality is at 4K. So I'm gonna try and use this over the next week or two and then I'll cut to some video footage of it and I'll talk about some of my experience using it as well. That way I can give you all a good review of this camera because so far it looks really good, but you know, the quality is what matters. The functionality is what matters. So I will cut to that next and 
talk about the camera a little bit more. So here I'm going through some footage that I've recorded with this camera. I've done some reviews indoor. I'll put some links up here at the top so that you can go watch those reviews and get a little bit more ideas of how well uh, the footage works. And then I have some outside footage here where I was building one of our stands. And you can see all the colors and the brightness that are showing up here. Pretty good quality. The microphone, I will say, is lackluster. I will probably just continue to use my external mic because even the, the boom mic that's on it just doesn't seem to work all that well. Here's some footage of me working on my 6.5 Creedmoor build in the garage. You know, the lighting is relatively low in my garage, but it shows up pretty bright here. And the colors are vibrant. The quality looks really good. Again, the mic did not really work well here, so I ended up using an external mic for most of this video as well. I will say the remote has worked really well. It's nice to be able to zoom and adjust and change things. Uh, just standing there, you don't have to go walk up to the camera every single time, so that's pretty convenient as well. I'll start using this camera quite a bit during hunting. I still use my handy cam occasionally. It just depends which camera I have on me and which one uh, I want to mess with. But the battery life is not too bad. The good thing is it did come with two battery packs. So that's been pretty nice to be able to just swap them out when one dies, charge it, and then by the time the next one dies, I've got a charged up battery pack. All in all, I'm pretty happy with this camera. I think it's a, a slight upgrade from my Sony Handycam. I have not really tested out the night vision yet. I do plan on doing that a little bit more and I may have a separate video where I'll post a couple of video links of me using that as well in the description. If you have any questions on this camera itself, any settings, quality issues, anything like that, feel free to drop a comment below or shoot me an email. My email is in the description as well. Hope you all enjoyed this video and see you all next week.